Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, it's very nice to meet you and I welcome you to the weekly creative session. In this creative session, I am making a pen pal letter for my pen pal Andy and it's going to be a letter that I've never tried before, something new is just in my head and I would say just let's jump into it. I want to create this letter with different pockets on it so the base has to be very strong so i'm taking the strongest craft paper that i have and i make sure that it fits the envelope so that's why i'm using the envelope from my pen pal andy i don't have those type of envelopes i still need to get them but i use hers as an example so what i want to create is actually different types of pocket like in different types of layers so i was thinking that the biggest pocket should be transparent or otherwise you cannot see how beautiful the base craft paper is so for that i'm using vellum i'm also looking for more craft paper that kind of will suit my team this is very easy because i use the, the same craft paper from the same block so that means like the colors are very similar, the doodle style is very similar, so I kind of made it very easy for me. Making pockets is very easy, you just need to keep in mind the size of the base that you're using and then you have to glue the three corners and the, the one above it is like, you don't stick that so you have like the pocket. I don't know how to explain it but you will see on the video. So here I'm just playing with some sizes and stuff like that. And here is where I wanted to use the vellum, like a very big chunk, and that will be my biggest pocket. So that you kind of see also the beautiful base craft paper. But still then, when I wanted to create the, the smaller pockets, I wanted, you know, still the other layers to show. So what I did was rip the corner out and then I had like a side pocket and then one above it. And then in total, I have three pockets. So then I started to assemble the letter, so to write the letter, I'm using here the mochi, muji, not mochi, muji, <laughs> muji um, paper and before actually writing and decorating, I first fold the letter. Why I want to fold is because I make sure I don't stick any stickers or washi tape or craft paper on the folds because then it folds very not easy, very difficult. So then I'm trying to look for cute doodles, cute die cuts, washi tape, like different elements to decorate the letter. I'm someone who decorates the letter first and I try then to write around the decoration. I find that's a very beautiful um, way to do it. I also try to incorporate as much craft paper as possible. I have a lot. This is simply because you saw me already cut a lot of my craft paper so I have a lot of small pieces and I don't want to throw them away so it's perfect for my letter to decorate it with. Same for the back of the paper, that's also where I decorated. 
also a big side note i don't know if you've noticed but i've been lately uploading two videos a week can we get an applause on that i mean it's so difficult for me because i do work a full-time job but i still do my very best on my youtube channel and i do two videos one on monday and one on thursday the thursday is a mini journaling video and we and this week is going this week i'm gonna upload episode three so make sure you watch the other episodes to stay on track because every week is another team and every week i focus on something particularly but first um, continue watching this video I wish it was that easy, like, ba bam See how beautiful that is when you actually work around the decoration that you already made? It makes like the whole thing a piece. I feel like honestly, I, I'm watching now the whole video and I feel like I'm just reacting to it. <laughs> so funny. Welcome to my podcast. <laughs> so here I'm closing the letter and... Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. I really love it. I really love it. So on the back of the pockets that I created, there is where I'm gonna place the letter and I'm gonna attach it with like a sort of piece of paper. I don't know, this also gives like a luxurious feeling and it's very easy to do. You just stick the corners and voila, you have it. And also now I start on the Q&A or like the meal tag where I ask the questions and also answer her questions. Um, for the title, I just use some pencils. I feel like it goes perfectly with the theme. It's like bubbly colors. And here again, I use the craft paper that I have left and also the paper that I kind of wanted to throw away but then I found like this is perfect it also has lines so then I can write very straight I decorated with some washi tape and there you have it and I'm going to this is one like the biggest piece so I'm going to put that in the biggest pocket and then the next part and that is the goodies because why did we create the pockets because we want to incorporate goodies so if you know from yourself that you're going to put a lot of goodies um, then make a lot of pockets I think I made three pockets one big and then two small like I'm actually a medium one and a smaller one and here I'm starting with the new set. It's so cute. It's like this space theme and it's very cute. And I'm just giving her like three or four pieces per sticky note. And I just stick it again on one of my leftover craft papers. And then the stickers. Um, I give her some BT21 stickers because she's a huge fan of BTS. And also some other random stickers, just like a whole package. So obviously I had a lot of stickers, so the first one I do it in a plastic bag that I also have like from another pen letter and then the other one in a self-made envelope. I used to sell these in my shop, I'm thinking on sharing how to actually make these, but at the other end I still want to have a shop again and sell them over there, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, let me know what you think about it. And I also add like some memo sheets, some cards, like really random things that I really want to give to her because honestly, if you saw her letter, it was fully packed with goodies, fully packed and you actually can, I will link the video here now in the corner, there is where I showed different types of pen letters that I received in the month July. the washi tape and I rolled the washi tape on craft paper that I also have left and it's the and it goes perfectly with the current team and what I do is actually I had this idea to take a hole puncher and punch a hole on the big 
card that I have and also on the washi tape and then so I have those rings and I took one and now it's attached to the whole thing and it's blue and it's, I think it goes perfectly you can also do it with the paper clip that's also fine and then I add some decorations to the whole thing to make it just a little more prettier then I wanted to take it to the next level and I took some paper and I wanted to make it like sort of a gift like really level up the whole letter and I added some little gemstones, some little stars, some little diamonds, of course they're fake but it's so pretty like when she will open it it's kind of a present so I really took it to the next level <laughs> and I closed it with some wax seal and there you have it, my beautiful letter, my beautiful snail nails. It's just not how I imagined it in my head. Um, I hope you love it as well, as much as I do, and of course my pen pal Andy. So um, of course I'm not gonna send it like that, I'm going to put it in a very simple boring envelope. I am not anywhere into decorating my envelopes, or like a little bit less, so... Um, this is perfect it also gives like a sort of surprise feeling because she gets the envelope and it's super boring and then when she opens it it's like bam so i i love the surprise touch in it so this was it i want to thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope you kind of love this voiceover i really didn't do any retakes and hopefully it's not that messy and you understand what i'm saying <laughs> so see you next time and take care bye bye